Okay, the second and last race here from Gowran Park is the Irish Stairs Handicap Chase. It's over four mile two furlongs, an all to one sixty for six year olds and up. So number one is Mirror Math Durr, last year's Grand National winner for Leon Ram Rensburg. Two is Fast Boy, three is Flexen, four Let Your Mind, five eights the National, six Elfberg, seven Comanche, eight Eastbrook Jane, nine is Grainy Amor, ten is Killing Lake, eleven is Macarena, twelve is No Half, thirteen Street Fire, fourteen Zella Day Manana, fifteen Southern Quest, sixteen. Pula, 17 Ellis Pawn, 18 Sand all over the world, <coughs> excuse me, Lando and Little Rick is 19, and 20 was Monson. Star has got him off over this four mile two furlong course here. They go straight into the first, the one that uh, went straight through the top of it was the Macarena. He used to sort out his moves as we wait for him to settle down. They go into the small little ditch. Everybody's over it. Now it's two grades that leads us. Flexen and no half. No half in the pink out wide. And further wide is Eastbrook Jane for John Walgham. Wants to make a challenge of uh, at the front. He's known front runners for this season. So it's those three that lead by a good couple of lengths back to Ellis Pawn. Into the third. Oh, and Ellis Pawn took a dive at that one. And he's just demoted himself into the rest of the pack. Oof. And Eastbrook Jane also took a dive at that one. At the front, and straight into the fifth, a much better jump by Eastbrook Jane on that one. Everybody's over it, and it's still as we were. It's no half, Eastbrook Jane and Flexen that lead us. And there are a fair few lengths ahead of Ellis Paul. And we've got Eights the National, Killing Lake outside of that. And the inside of that is Sand all over the world. And then we've got Macarena and Street Fire together. They're being followed through by Pula, Elfberg, Landown, Little Rock. And we've got Southern Quest. And that's Kevin Minahan Horse. And the outside of that is Comanche and Landown, Little Rock. Monsoon is there. And we've got Zelade Menyana, Fast Boy, Grania Moore. Miramath Durr, last year's Grand National winner. And let your mind at the rear. They go into the six. Everybody gets over it. The fences are not particularly stiff here at uh, Gowron Park. So uh, if this is a little pre runner for the National, they all might need a little bit more schooling at home for jumping. Because they're not particularly jumping that well. But up front is Eastbrook Jane, Flexen, and No Half all lead into the seventh. Ellis Pawn as well. One at the rear is still Miramath Dur now. But he's carrying a lot of weight here. 12 stone. And all over the eighth, which will be the last after two more circuits. And it's Eastbrook Jane that's going to lead them past the winning post for the first time. And then we've got Flexen. And they're followed through by Ellis Pawn and No Half. Further few links back to eights the national sand all over the world. Macarena against the fence. Southern Quest out a little wider. As is Killing Lake. Being followed through by Street Fire, Pula, Elfberg. And there's Fast Boy and Comanche a little bit wider. And land down Little Rock. Let your mind's got back into the mid pack. Granny Amor, Monsoon. Zelade Menyana and Amira Mathdur. So it's still three miles to travel. Still over two thirds of the fences to go. But it's Eastbrook Jane that leads us by a couple of lengths to Flex and then it is Pawn and No Half. And they're ahead of Eights the National. Sand all over the world. Southern Quest and Macarena. And Graham Clutterbuck's horse Pula. Out wide is Fast Boy. And the inside of that is, uh, I think, Killing Lake. The one against the fence close to them is Elfberg. Comanche in the grey silks poking through. Out wider is Let Your Mind in the orange. Street Fire for Doug Warren. Sitting pretty. Granny Amor for Darren Howes against the fence. And land down Little Rock. Zella Day Menyana. Monsoon. And we can't see Miramath Dur for Leon Van Rensburg at the moment. But I wouldn't worry. Known horses to come from the rear. But up front is still Eastbrook Jane from Ellis Paul. No half and Flexen. We take the ninth. Everybody gets over it. That's probably, uh, I don't know, 25 lengths from first to last. But there's still a long way to go, over two and a half miles. Going to the tenth. Everybody skips over it. Nothing getting duly worried at the moment. They're all still on their feet. These seasoned horses. That's a six year old plus, which is probably a year older than it was last year. Where we voted on uh, some of the longer distance races being uh, slightly older. 
Well, I do know that poor old Joshua Sutherland uh, doesn't have, I think, a seven-year-old for the Grand National, which is always no fun if you find out. But maybe bring one in at the... Uh, oh, we've lost one there. Miramath Dur, the Grand National winner from last year, has gone. Maybe the weight was just a little bit too much. Bad luck there, Leon, mind you. Sadly, his rating won't change. He'll still be uh, fairly highly rated. Maybe try and knock him down in the next race. But up front, it's Eastbrook J. And as I was saying, obviously, Joshua, you bring in one, obviously, in the, in the close oh, in the close season, week five, when we're allowed to increase and uh, throw out some of our horses in the stables. But anyway, back to this race. Two miles left to travel. Eastbrook J leads us from no half in second. Third is eight to the national. Fourth is Ellis Paul. Five is Flexen. Six is Sand all over the world. They're all over that one. Seventh is Southern Quest, then Elfberg, Pula, Fast Boy, they're together. And we've got the Macarena against the fence. Outside of that is Killing Late, Lit, Jermine and Comanche. Grainy and Moore's a couple of lengths back, running alongside with Street Fire, Zelade Menyana. And then just at the rear at the moment, as they all go over that one, Amonson and Landown, Little Rock. So back up front, it's Elfbrook, Eastbrook, sorry, Jane. <laughs> For, for Ghost Sapper, John Morgan is going to lead them past the winning post for the last time. They go uphill here. We have a circuit to go and another eight fences to jump. So it's Eastbrook, Jane, and no half. These two together. Hinton and Morgan. And they're a couple of lengths ahead of no, oh, sorry, eight's the national and Flexum. And then Ellis Paul, Southern Quest doing well. Sand all over the world. Pula a little bit out wider. Killing Lake. Inside of that one, as is Comanche and Elfberg against the fence, followed through by Let Your Mind. Fast one, we're losing one there. Looks like Grainy and Morph of Darren House is getting pulled up, and we're losing another one. I think that's going to be Street Fire being pulled up as well for Doug Warren. Bad luck, chaps. Um, but uh, you know what it's like. But it's Eastbrook, Jane, and No Half together by a couple of lengths to eight's the National. And Ellis Paul has been. A couple of lengths further back, and Southern Quest and Sand all over the world. And Flexen, Killing Lake, Comanche, Pula, Macarena, Elfberg, Fast Boy, and Let Your Mind. They're all still in this. The one that's getting a little bit detached is Elade Menyana, but nothing in it. And then we've got two fighting out for the rear places a land down Little Rock on Monson. So, oh, just over a mile left to travel now. It's still Eastbrook Jane. Jockey decides uh, to give them a little bit of a boost. Keep his mind on the job. Pulls a length ahead now from no half. Eights the Nationals done well now to pull up alongside into second. They take the 17th. Everybody gets over that one. And a poor jump, I think, uh, by the Green Silks of Southern Quest there. But it's Eastbrook Jane that still leads, but being pushed along by his jockey now. We've still got seven furlongs left to run. Everybody's over that, although we're losing another one there. I think it's Monson that's getting pulled up. But it's Eastbrook Jane that starts to pull away. The jockey's decided to ask him to go, and he now leads by four to five. Flexen's a one make him chase. Pooler eights the national and no half. They're over the 19th. Everybody's over that. A couple of slow jumps at the rear by Comanche and Let Your Mind. And now we've lost Landown and Little Rock. Oh, we've lost Landown. Landown and Little Rock was pulled up, and we lost Flexen there. Unseated his rider. Bad luck, but it's still Eastbrook Jane up front that leads by six to seven. And Macarena's going to try and close that gap now with four and a half furlongs left to run. And we've got Killing Lake, Pula, the grey no half still against the fence, but got some work to do from there. Followed through by Zelade Menyana, Elfberg, Southern Quest being pushed along. As is Ellis, Paul, Comanche, let your mind. These are all that's left at the moment, but up front is still Eastbrook Jane. The jockey's been pushing this horse for a good three furlongs now, but still leads by four to five from the chase in Killing Lake of Macarena. Pula's plugging on, as is Zelade Menyana. I don't think No Half's got anything left. They take the 22nd. Everybody's over it. Even the loose horses at the rear, but it's still Eastbrook Jane that leads by a couple of lengths. But here comes Killing Lake. We've only got a couple of fences left to jump and a couple of furlongs left to travel. Eastbrook Jane may well have gone too soon because Killing Lake is eating into his lead step by step as they approach the 23rd and the penultimate. It's a small fence. They're both over it. But Eastbrook Jane still leads by a good couple of lengths. Plugging on at the back is Zelade Menyana and Macarena, but they're not going to win from there. Eastbrook Jane into the last. Jumps it well. A little bit uphill now for half a furlong. It's Eastbrook Jane. Killing Lake can 
any catch here. Eastbrook Jane's going to hang on to this one, I think, as they go uphill. Jockey has a quick look round. I think he knows he's got it. Eastbrook Jane's going to win this for John Morgan. Second's Killian Lake for Jim Murray. Zelade Mignana for D. Thompson, I think, was third. Well, never so sure with Silks. Zelade Mignana could be uh, Thunder Spark. But a good win there by John Morgan's horse. They're going to get a nice big boost in the ratings. And certainly a grand national a grand national prospect, as is Killing Lake. So, John wins it. Eastbrook Jane, well done. Second was Killing Lake for Jim Murray. Third was Zelade Manana for D David Thompson. Fourth was Macarena for Paul Rhodes. And fifth was Fast Boy for David Robertson.